what is today Oklahoma was at one time two territories. By 1905, Oklahoma Territory consisted of the western half of the present state and Indian Territory occupied the eastern half. For almost 18 years, from 1889 to 1907, these twin territories, as they were called, existed side by side. For a variety of reasons, a group of Indian Territory residents began advocating the creation of two separate states based on the already two separate territories. Advocates of the two separate states began working on the details necessary to create the proposed state of Sequoia, Indian Territory, basically the eastern half of what is today Oklahoma. Forty-eight counties were created and named, rules and regulations laid out, and in September of 1905, a convention met in Muskogee to create the Constitution for the proposed new state of Sequoia. It was in this week of 1905 that the Constitution for the new state was voted on and officially approved. That document, created 110 years ago this week, was a model of progressive thought and action. Included in the document were such items as child labor legislation, business, monopoly, and trust regulation, as well as laws concerning banking and economic matters and land development. So forward-thinking and progressive was the Constitution of Sequoia that some states copied entire sections of it verbatim. Despite the quality of the Constitution, opposition to the creation of a separate state of Sequoia was strong. Theodore Roosevelt was president at the time, and as a Republican, he did not favor the creation of two separate states. Oklahoma and Sequoia were both bound to be strongly Democratic. Two states would mean twice the number of Democratic senators and representatives, something that the Republican president was definitely against. Sequoia never became a state, but the Constitution, written and approved in this week of 1905, did become a part of Oklahoma's Constitution a document that was held up around the world as an example of enlightened and progressive thought.